Hello everyone, it's Nikki Batgirl D'Angelo here for another episode of... And wait for it, wait for it, it's Foundation with Nikki Batgirl D'Angelo. Yes, I know it's been a while, but today we are going to name this village. We're just not going to do it just yet. We're going to do it a little bit later in the episode. But before that happens, we want to slow down the action just a little bit over here. And we want to bring up our... We want to bring up our menu over here, these two things, just to make sure people are doing what they need to be doing. All right, carpenters still need to be assigned. Do we have anybody that's unassigned right now? Nope. We're pretty good right now. All right, so I've got a couple of things that are going a little wacko right now, and we're going to try to fix them. And I think I'm going to use this area right in here to be my sheep farm. I'm going to put my wheat farms up there and my sheep farms down here. It's going to be rebuilding little by little, but we're going to get this done. I'm going to put the sheep farm right there. We're going to prioritize that and let people start moving there. All right, we just got a new citizen. So let's see our happiness. We have one villager lacking a house, two lacking religion, and three lacking food. Three lacking food. Hmm. We're going to have to deal with that. Well, we don't have all the food in the world over here. What's this over here? This should be the forestry hut, right? That's the forester camp. That will come up in a short while. This over here... There's supposed to be... Oh, look at that cool little house. There's supposed to be another market over here. Just wondering where it might be. Is this it? looks like it is and they're waiting for they're waiting for wool and more wood okay so we have those two things being taken care of all right our church is very nice for nice for people right now nice little area over here for our soldiers to practice um a house is upgrading. We have lots of houses upgrading right now into these new, more fashionable homes. I don't like how close together they get, and things like this happen. You see this house right here? How does this person get in the door? You know? Because the other one got built right on top of it. So we're going to get rid of it, make them make a new house. All right, this guy over here... This is going to go away. We don't need them over here anymore. They can go and play. They can go and play up here. Let's build them one right here. Alright, there's a house that's upgrading still. But I need this to get built over here. I know I have builders. Hmm. Alright, there's one new building unlocked. We'll figure that one out in a second. I made somebody homeless. And I did it for a reason. This being over here is a little annoying. These being over here are annoying. I think what I want to do is I want to move you. I want to move you right outside here. And you guys could get this over here. Okay, we're just trying to move around a little bit of our production right in this vicinity. 
All right, she's building the sheep farm. Once this one gets up, we'll kill this one. When we kill that one, we're going to drop another wheat farm over here. We're just going to start moving the production lines into different places. This up here, this woodcutter's camp, is going to be the first place that we build in the area where we have our metal, or I should say our iron ore. There's our iron ore. All right, two villagers are joining our village. We are going to turn that off because honestly, not really needed right now. Let's get them assigned. And they'll just go in there and I think that should be good. Yeah, we have more than enough. been a lot of updates, a lot of crashes fixed since we played last. They released a little bit of what they're going to be thinking about doing in the future. But we'll talk about that in a different episode. Right now we're just going to worry about our beautiful town over here and figure out what kind of fun things we could do. See it from the point of view of a person coming through town. Ooh, somebody's building their house right on the water over here. That's pretty cool. I wish you could go... I think you could turn down the mouse sensitivity a little bit. I, I would love to do that. Because I would love to like just... Oh, we can do it. We could just follow somebody. And we can follow that villager. Just follow what they do. And see where they go. Let's close some of these windows out. Oh, as we close the window, of course, it goes away. And look at our soldiers going to work. Look at the well. I built it right in the center of the town square so that little supply cache that they had in the center just fits inside the well. Alright, we have one villager looking for a home. And I think we're going to be able to fix that once this comes up over here. Let's take a look at the color. Yep, we're going to be able to do that very shortly. Um, we'll do this. Yeah, nobody wants to live over here. We get that. Um, we're going to take away that blue. This blue right here. Because honestly, we don't need to be taking any of that out. And we'll just take it down like this. Let's lower this just a little bit. Let's take that out there. And let's take that out there. Alright, we're good. I think we could offer them this area to live in, too. That's just very bright green right now. Very bright green. Oh, God, that hurts. Alright. People are just going to have to build a house here, that's all. What's this over here? Construction site of house. You're just going to have to live where nobody wants to live. We'll build you some places to go there in a little bit, but it's where we want you. Alright, so we do have this coming up pretty decently. Alright, so we had a contest to name the city, and there were a lot of people that, like, they came up with names that had to do with some of the other games I played, which was very ingenious. I thought it was cool. And it got to the point where I really couldn't figure out which one of the names was going to be good, so I put it into a random number generator and actually pulled out the name that I thought would fit best in this village. And it's going to be... Whispering Pines. And that was put forth by Rick Bearcat, who has been a loyal follower and uh, 
commenter on most of my videos for a very, very, very long time. And I'm glad that you had an opportunity to partake in the contest and actually come up the winner. So we do have this new name for the city of Whispering Pines. Now this bakery over here is not long for this world. It's going to wind up going away too. But I'm more concerned with getting this up and running and then building so I figure the farms like that and then a weaver's hut right across from it see how she's going she's moving down the road like this and I, I'm gonna put the weaver's hut like this it's just gonna be weird but it'll be very close for these two to go and I'll have two sheep farm and a weaver's hut and I'll put two tailors right around here where these people have claimed houses it looks like yep somebody's claimed their house over there and it looks like there's a house somewhere over here there's a house over there okay it's not bad okay let's see how that market is going over here I don't even know where they're building it I know they're building something over here So again, I'm very, very sorry about the sporadic uh, release schedule that I've had lately, and it's mainly due to the fact that I had to trade my iMac in, which had reached seven years old, and just was not up to the task of editing my videos very quickly. So I decided that I was going to get rid of my iMac and get a new one, but then in reading things over and over again it looked like I was going to do better with a well with a Mac Mini and an external graphic card because AMD has so many new graphic cards coming out over the next two years that I might want to upgrade that when the processor is going to be perfectly okay the processor in the old one was perfectly okay but the longest time it was a 4770 but very quickly the 680 graphics card that was inside that iMac became slow and uh, well outdated so in going with the Mac Mini and the external graphic card I think I'm gonna have a much more capable system for a little bit longer and you know I do work for Apple so I could always get another one with my discount at another time but I'm thinking that this is the best way to go for this one it's almost like G-Sync's not working in this game. I could see a lot of motion blur and hair from moving around the screen. It's making me nauseous. <laughs> All right, so we are getting a full, at 3440 by 1440, we're getting a full 65 frames a second with all these people running around this city. I like how this area over here is starting to flesh out right before us. I'm just going to move it like this for a little bit. And as soon as that is up, that sheep farm, we got to kill the other one. So we're just going to move things to where they belong, little by little. So the bakery is complete, which means that we need a couple of people to work there. So we are going to open this. And I think the bakery only takes one person, right? Oh, two people. So I was right. We're going to need a couple of people to work there. i got to try something. I think... I don't know if they have it in settings yet. Do they have V-Sync? Depth of field V-Sync. V-Sync is on. That's weird. I wasn't getting this before the latest driver that NVIDIA put out. Looks like everybody's okay. We are dropping. Ten villagers need clothes. Okay. And that's because we don't have a place to sell clothes over here. I think that's what we're waiting on. We need a place to sell clothes. And I don't know where it's getting built. All I know is that they're waiting on ten wood and five... Yeah, they're waiting on that stuff. So, you know what? I'm going to let them complete the sheep farm over here. 
And we're waiting for a builder. We need tools. We have 10 tools. Our builder is probably out building somebody a house. That would be a good thing to do. Up. Oh. Emma is assigned to the construction. She'll bring our five tools. Sorry, I don't know how to read. We've got so much going on here. Let's take a look and see if we can see this area over here. Yeah, there's nobody coming over here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. She's coming. She is coming. And hopefully she puts some effort into making this thing work. Come on. Build it up. She's taking her sweet time. Banging very slowly. What? She got every... Oh, she just... All right, so Emma's bringing five tools out. Oh, my Lord. It takes... It takes a village. Oh, I just got confirmation that my Mac Mini will be here on Monday. So that means next Tuesday I'll install it, get everything up and running, and we will have an amazing, amazing start to March with new videos for Foundation, for Subnautica, and of course for Star Citizen. I can't wait for that to happen. One of the biggest reasons that I haven't been doing the videos is that I need to do commentary in-game. Because I edit on the Mac and I do voiceover right in Final Cut. The, <laughs> I'm not buying some kind of port replicator for a um, for my MacBook Air. There's just no reason for it. And right now there's only two USB-C ports on it. And my scratch drive is a USB-A. And I went out and I got a USB-C scratch drive. The external graphic card is Thunderbolt. It does power the MacBook Air, but there's not enough ports on it for me to have everything connected because I can't connect a second item onto one of the USB-C ports because it's a, well, it's a Thunderbolt connector and it is running the graphic card and anything else you put on there is going to actually 100% knock the performance down. So I really couldn't plug my microphone in to do voiceover, which is a big reason that my Star Citizen vi videos haven't come out. So unless I do one this weekend where I actually do it live in-game chat or live in-game commentary, which stinks because, you know, it, it's I'd rather stream than do that. It's just not going to be fun. Now, I know some of you are saying, why don't you just edit on your PC? Because I don't. I, I learned all my editing on Final Cut, and I don't want to learn a new program when it's so important that I get my videos out. So, just another few days, and we'll have that Mac Mini, and everything will be good. All right, so... I know that Emma's out here building this thing. Oh, that is going a little bit further than I thought it was going to go. We got to get rid of that. Okay, good. All right, so you get rid of this. Bam. Let's come over here and let's uh, spawn some sheep. And then let's go back in and see where we can put this weaver's house, weaver hut, right there. I think the weaver hut being right about right about there is going to be good. Alright, good. And then another 
wheat farm because we want to worry about well actually Taylor's workshop is going to be important I want the Taylor workshop to be down here there we go and I want another weaver hut to be waiting on 200 gold we'll have that soon oh wait so we finally got that done and we'll have somebody waiting on an audience for us so let's go talk to this guy that's waiting on us he's right here he wants us to deploy our troops so let's send out four or five of our troops we'll send maria and carla and herman and vittori vittori and we'll send barbara there we go and they're on their way going out on their mission all right so that was good all right so then if we come up over here have we gotten up to 200 yet we have a lot being sold so we get up we, we get enough gold real quick sometimes all right so all this has to be built up let's get this weaver hut and let's tell them to uh, focus on this because that's going to go up and then that's going to go away. All right, so hopefully we have two people. We do. Let's get them into there. Good. And we just got two more. So we're going to stop immigration for just a little bit. So I really am thinking that the next place that we act that we actually move into is going to be this island, and this island is going to house the church, and it's going to house the Lord's Manor. So we're going to have that church, that that area done. And the reason why I'm thinking about this is because of this. It looks like when you look at all the land that we could build on, it looks like if we build like maybe the Lord's Manor and a couple of keeps over here and then we build a well the church should be central so here I am now backing off or backing up on what I just said I'm not a hundred percent certain where I'm gonna build it now oh that's just weird well, we're going to have to see. Now, this is a rustic church that needs to go in at some point. I'm going to wait on that just a little bit more. This whole area has lots of stone. All right, you're good there. And if somebody could build this, we'll, be f we'll get more people back to work. So we just had two more people come in. And I'm thinking I'm going to make them builders, just to keep the building process going a little bit. And we're going to need a lot when we have to build our stone church. Right now we're building rustic churches. Alright, so, well we definitely need somebody in this market, that much we know. And we're going to have clothes over there. We're going to have to wait for that person to come into town. We'll see when we get them. Everything is looking pretty nice. We've got all these nice little roads going down to the fishing docks. Uh, people building up their houses over here you know what to make things nice nice what we should do is just put a well right over here I don't know if I have any berries it says I do let's see who do we want to help 
Oh, we can buy, we can unlock the church and the small wall in the church, like that. We have 23. We have zero on labor, so let's help our own people. And nope, we don't even have 30 in. Yeah, yeah we don't even have 30 in the uh, bin. That's it. They want a church now, so we have to comply with them. This still has to be built. Do I want to put another gatherer's hut over here? I wonder, you know? I'm just going to put it like this and see if they actually use the roads or make a new one. All right. All right, that weaver's hut is going up pretty quickly. So this one's going to come down. Now, once this goes up, then this tailor over here will come down. Which isn't too far for this guy to walk to to get clothes, but this tailor's not going to be very efficient if he has to keep walking up here. See, if I put everything right here, we're going to have a much nicer production line. So those two people came in. So one of them is going to be a good stall. And one of them is going to be a builder. Well, three woodcutters assigned. What logging camp? Oh, to that one. I think we just have to wait. There's two now. We just have to wait for them to fill in. I think that one's getting people already. And there's three. So that just got built, and now we're going to have woodcutters over there. Let's give them some wood to cut down now. We want them to cut all of these pine trees down. And then we're going to want somebody to grow in all these pine trees. But we're also going to want all these oak trees cut down. Hmm. I wonder why I had that like that. Let's get rid of it. It makes little sense to have that done like that. Let's get rid of it. And here. All right, good. All right, so you guys are going to cut down trees. We're going to need a forester's hut up here. We want that. We want clothes. Good. So forester's hut is going to go up here also. I always lose it. I wish there was a way. There it is. Forester's camp. And we're just going to turn it like this. There we go, and when that gets filled in, we'll get it filled in. All right, they're building this guy over here, so we'll start to get that built in. Does this one have people working? Yes, it does. So as soon as we get that guy in here, we'll start being able to make more trees over here, make more lumber. And I think we're doing well. We didn't get a lot done today, but we did start to rearrange some of our wonderful places here. Yeah. So, we definitely want this done. And just for poops and giggles, 
Let's see if we have enough money for this next piece, which is a wheat farm, which is going to go right here. And then let's lay in some more farmland. I want the farmland to go right up to the church almost. Now we'll cut it back to here. We'll cut it back right to there. Yeah, that should be good. That should be much better than where I had it. We're not going to cut down trees, so why have it come out? I don't have to do half of the stuff I do, but it's fun. All right, so this guy is going to get built, and he's going to have the wool right across. And then this guy will get built. And I think we're doing very well right now. All right, folks, I think we've uh, tackled about as much as I want to tackle for this episode. I will be back again as soon as I get all of my computers up and running, which will be Tuesday. And I should be more consistent at that point. Well, I better be. I've spent enough money on a new Mac. Um, and in the meantime, if I do come out with any videos, um, believe me, they are going to be solely based on what we're doing right here. I absolutely love this game. I think it's wonderful. It's got a lot of interesting ways that you can build few things that you have to look out for like when, when these buildings got upgraded over here and people couldn't get in and out of them kind of like this this is a very poorly optimized building so I normally just do that get rid of it and then they'll rebuild that building and put it into a different dimension or a different direction so it should be no problem so thank you very much for all of you that entered the contest. Rick Bearcat, you know how to get in touch with me. Just put something in the thread and I will, well, we'll work it out. Okay, you could send an email to theaddictedgamer at gmail.com. I'll get it there and I will send you out your Steam code for a free copy of Foundation. Thank you very much, everyone. You know the drill. If you like the video, please do click the thumbs up button as it will really help the channel grow. And if you do subscribe, be sure to click that bell-shaped icon down below to get notified of all my future videos. And if you want to help me grow the channel into something bigger, better, and more regular than it is right now, please think about becoming a Patreon over at Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash Batgirl. And with that said, folks, you all be safe out there, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.